हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन ऑन रिकरेंस रिलेशंस सो फार वी हैव सीन हाउ टू सॉल्व रिकरेंस रिलेशंस यूजिंग द मेथड ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फंक्शंस देर इज अनदर मेथड आल्सो व्हिच इज नोन एज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ रिकरेंस रिलेशन यूजिंग जनरेटिंग फंक्शंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट मैथड ऑल्सो इन दिस प्ले एंड बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दैट मैथड Uh, we will understand that what is generating function for the given sequence and uh, after understanding generating functions uh, we will solve the recurrence relations using generating functions so first we define what is meaning of generating function for a sequence an for example suppose we have some sequence an where n starts from zero that is n is greater than or equal to zero or terms of the sequence are a0 a1 a2 a3 and so on nth term is denoted by a suffix n then the generating function for this sequence an is defined as a function of x in terms of infinite series i am considering an infinite series whose coefficients are terms of the sequence suppose i consider this infinite series in powers of x a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and so on in general we can write in sigma notation as sigma an times x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity so here we are considering terms of the sequence as coefficients of powers of x in this power series this is a series in powers of x and we know that this type of series is called power series in powers of x and if this series is convergent it will converge to some function of x so that function of x uh, is denoted by capital g of x and this g of x is called the generating function for the given sequence an so generating function for the given sequence an is defined as sigma an x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity and uh, this uh, infinite series in powers of x will define a function of x and that function of x is called the generating function for the given sequence an so remember that whenever we have some sequence an whose nth term is known to us then to find out generating function for this sequence we have to find out the sum of the infinite series sigma an x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity if this power series is convergent then its sum will be a function of x and that function of x is called generating function for the sequence an whose nth term is given so first i have written the definition let an be a sequence of real numbers n greater than or equal to 0 then the function a0 plus a1x plus a2x square or in sigma notation sigma n equal to 0 to infinity an x raised to n is called the generating function for the sequence an it is denoted by capital g of x so we will remember this formula capital g of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and so on or in sigma notation it is simply sigma an times x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity this is nothing but power series in powers of x the generating function for the sequence an given in this definition is sometimes called the ordinary generating function so here i have obtained generating functions for given sequence for uh, three sequences uh, we will discuss one by one first one is sequence an whose term is, whose terms are constant suppose sequence an is a sequence Uh, whose terms are constant that is an equal to c for all n greater than or equal to 0 now suppose i am interested in the generating function 
for sequence an whose nth term is given by an equal to c then i will start by the definition by definition gx is sigma an x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity now it is given that an equal to constant c for every n therefore in the next step we replace an by constant c because every term is constant now in this sigma notation constant c is independent of this index n therefore we can take c outside the summation and we have sigma n equal to 0 to infinity x raised to n and we know that this is the uh, Maclaurian series of the function 1 over 1 minus x and it is convergent if mode x is less than 1 so therefore our generating function for given sequence whose terms are constant equal to c is equal to c divided by 1 minus x and this is valid for all those x in the interval minus 1 to 1 this we can rewrite as x belongs to open interval minus 1 to 1 so this is our generating function corresponding to given sequence so if we are familiar with some standard series then for some sequences we can directly write down the generating function in this uh, example we have used this Maclaurian series of 1 over 1 minus x if you recall in mathematics 1 course we have derived Maclaurian series of uh, this 1 over 1 minus x and it is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and so on or in sigma notation it is sigma x to the power n n equal to 0 to infinity similarly uh, if i have 1 over 1 plus x then i will have alternately positive and negative sign and uh, in general we know this formula for binomial expansion so 1 plus x raised to alpha is given by 1 plus alpha into x plus alpha alpha minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square and in the next term alpha alpha minus 1 alpha minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube and so on so we are going to use all these standard formulas to derive the generating function for the given sequence a n whose nth term is known to us and in this formula alpha is arbitrary real number this is valid for any alpha which is real number and uh, this formula is called binomial series expansion so we will use these formulas whenever required and here we have seen that for sequence a n where a n equal to c for every n generating function is given by c divided by 1 minus x so we will remember this uh, generating function corresponding to this sequence whose terms are constant or every term is constant c and uh, every time we will not derive generating function we will remember this uh, some generating functions for some standard sequences and whenever required we will write down the generating function corresponding to sequence or we will write down the nth term of the sequence corresponding to the generating function suppose i have gx equal to 3 over 1 minus x as my generating function then uh, sequence a n is given by a n equal to c and if we compare with this a n equal to 3 so this is the nth term of the sequence a n which is uh, given or which is required so if you are given a sequence a n you can write down the corresponding generating function using definition and some standard series and uh, if you are given a generating function then also you can derive the corresponding sequence a n i have taken another two sequences also and i have derived their generating functions this is first one which we just discussed if a n equal to c c is constant then its generating function is c over 1 minus x second sequence i have taken as a n equal to n for every n that means if i take a 0 
I have 0 if I have a1 then a1 equal to 1 a2 equal to 2 and so on and I have derived generating function for this sequence also by definition gx equal to sigma a n x raised to n in the next step we put a n equal to n now we have to derive the formula for the function to which this series converges so for that uh, first I have taken uh, n equal to 0 so n equal to 0 will give me first term as 0 then for n equal to 1 I will have 1 into x raised to 1 that is x if I take n equal to 2 I have 2 into x square for n equal to 3 3 into x raised to 3 for n equal to 4 4 into x raised to 4 now in each of these terms there are infinite number of terms in this uh, series but every term in every term we have x common so in the next step I have taken x common and I am left with if I take x common here here I have 1 here I will be left with 2x here I will be left with 3x square and then 4x cube and I have given this number 1 because I have to decide that this series converges to which function so for that we find out the uh, binomial series expansion of 1 minus x raised to minus 2 so to use that formula 1 plus x raised to alpha I am rewriting this function as 1 plus minus x to the power minus 2 so our alpha is minus 2 and instead of x we have minus x so using binomial series expansion we write 1 as it is plus alpha x alpha is minus 2 instead of x we have minus x then in the next term I have to write alpha into alpha minus 1 alpha is minus 2 alpha minus 1 is minus 2 minus 1 that is 3 divided by 2 factorial into square of minus x in the next step I have to write alpha alpha minus 1 alpha minus 2 alpha is minus 2 so alpha minus 2 is minus 4 divided by uh, this uh, 3 factorial into minus x raised to 3 then we simplify this here negative negative positive so I have 1 plus 2x here 2 will cancel out and uh, I have negative negative positive and 3 into x square so that I have written here if you simplify this you will obtain 4x cube so this is nothing but 1 minus x to the power minus 2 and you can see this infinite series is here also 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube and so on therefore we can replace this infinite sum by this uh, function 1 minus x raised to minus 2 so in the next step we have substituted value of this infinite series in this number 1 so using number 2 this is given as number 2 in number 1 we get gx equal to x as it is and this is equal to 1 minus x raised to minus 2 that I have substituted and I obtain x over 1 minus x whole square as the generating function for the sequence an whose nth term is given by an equal to n n greater than or equal to 0 in the next example I have taken this sequence an equal to c times some constant say b raised to n here b is constant now by definition generating function is sigma a n x raised to n then we substitute a n equal to c times b raised to n x raised to n as it is in the next step I have taken this c outside summation because it is independent of n and this I have written as nth power of b into x and uh, if you observe this is nothing but 1 over 1 minus bx we have this formula if I have 1 over 1 minus x then uh, I have sigma x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity so you can compare instead of x I have bx here so here also I have to replace x by bx so that I have written here c over 1 minus bx 
so this generating function c over 1 minus bx is corresponding to this sequence a n equal to c times b raised to n this is the generating function so in this way we can decide generating function corresponding to the sequence a n whose nth term a n is given and whatever work i did here that i have written as a summary here this is the column for generating function and here the nth term formula for this sequence a n whose generating function is g x. If generating function is c over 1 minus x then in the first example we have seen that this is the generating function for constant sequence. For sequence a n equal to n generating function is x over 1 minus x whole square. For sequence c times b raised to n generating function is c divided by 1 minus bx. So you can remember this uh, standard functions and uh, if you don't want to remember you can easily derive the corresponding generating function to the nth term of the sequence in this way. Here I have derived generating functions for three sequences and that I have summarized here for constant sequence generating function is c over 1 minus x. For sequence a n equal to n generating function is x over 1 minus x square and for sequence c times b raised to n generating function is c over 1 minus bx and uh, in the next lecture we are going to solve linear recurrence relations with constant coefficients using this method of generating functions so in this lecture we have understood what is generating function for a given sequence and in next lecture we will discuss the method of solving recurrence relation using generating function and we end this lecture by remembering the definition of generating function if i have some sequence a n where n is starting from 0 and going up to infinity then the generating function corresponding to this sequence or generating function for this sequence a n is given by sigma a n x raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity or we can rewrite in this form also a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square and so on. So remember this definition and using this generating function we are going to discuss the solution of linear recurrence relationships in upcoming lecture. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.